In this video, we'll take the basic bank simulation we previously created and start adding detail. To make it perform more like a real bank, we'll add information about customers arriving, as well as the timings of the services in our bank. So as well as the teller activity that we already assigned to the simulation, our bank will also have an ATM, a mortgage advisor, and finally a reception activity that our customers will visit as they arrive. We'll go into more detail on this in the next video. And speaking of arrivals, we need customers for our bank. For any simulation, you want to define the number of work items arriving into your model. In this case, the work items are our bank customers, but they could be anything from parts entering a production line to samples to be tested in a lab. You can set arrival times directly in the timing section of the start point. But for this example, we'll use the start point schedule. This allows you to specify how many work items enter your simulation at any given time. As you can see, I've already populated our start point schedule with 20 customers arriving at 9 o'clock, 10 customers arriving at 10 o'clock, all until 4 o'clock where 15 customers arrive. To make each day follow the same schedule, select the repeat option. Now that we have our customers arriving during our opening hours, we need to add timings to the various services and the bank. Let's say our ATM takes an average of two minutes, we can set this timing up by clicking on the ATM activity and going to the timing section of the ribbon. We can then choose average from the distribution drop-down menu and type 2 in the text box. Now let's move on to our teller. The time taken by the teller to serve customers will vary due to the range of questions they'll deal with. We can set this by using a rounded uniform distribution with tasks taking anywhere between 5 minutes and 15 minutes to complete. And lastly, our mortgage advisor has fixed 45-minute appointments. You can also set up timings through the use of custom distributions and Excel data. More information on these features can be found in our help files. Okay, so with our arrivals and timings in place, we can already see that our bank is starting to behave more like the real life process. Next up, I'll show you how to incorporate the routing decisions that our customers take as they interact with the services within our bank. 